iconic. There's a lot of history in surfing here. Oh, I think there's more history than any other beach in, uh, in Australia. Simple as that. Manly has been a part of beach culture since surfing was first seen on these shores. It was next door at Freshwater Beach that Australians first caught a glimpse of surfing when Hawaiian Duke Kahanamoku held a demo to the inquisitive crowds. Duke Kahanamoku came and taught surfing in Australia in 1915 and that was at Freshwater. And I, I went for a surf on that beach last year and I had goosebumps. And Manly cemented its special place in surf culture in the 1960s when the very first world title was held here won by local legend Midget Farrelly. There's iconic moments in, in, in Australian surfing history and obviously that 1964 world title was historical. And it stayed instrumental, hosting comps and championships all the way up until the huge classics of the 80s and 90s. Had a lot of events here over the years. You know, it always attracted a, a lot of great surfers, you know, and it's always produced some of the best surfers throughout Australia's surfing history. With the classics finished in Sydney and with world surfing chasing exotic locations and big waves, Manly has been looking forward to the day it can regain its crown as an event for the crowds. You know, it'll bring back great memories. And now with the Australian Open of surfing, it's time has come. Oh, no.